Hey guys, Gino here. Um, I thought I'd give a quick tour of my new gaming room. I'm actually actually been working on it for over a year now since I've uh, moved out here. Um, I thought I'd just like make a quick video just to show you like a little bit of a tour of what I have and what I'm aiming to accomplish as I'm going to start a new gaming channel on YouTube. Um, and I might be also streaming on D Live as well. So. I'll be using this room to gather me and my friends and a few randoms to play through all these video games that I got that I've been collecting since for, for the last uh, couple of years or so. And um, I don't have a full complete collection, obviously. I, this is a very small room. But first, I'll give, a, I'll give a little bit of a tour and show you what games I got and see if you guys are interested. And um, probably hit up and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. All right, so first I actually want to talk about is this I'm pretty sure it's the Pandora's box uh, the 2222 games in one so as you can see there Pandora's box 9D I actually bought this I was actually going to build one myself but there was a person moving to Queensland as I'm located in Melbourne Australia he was moving to Queensland and he was selling it for the exact same cost on how much it would actually take to build one of these. So, and I was already planning to build one, so I decided to actually purchase purchase it straight up, eight hundred fifty dollars, which which I find was pretty good. I might I might be, I might be changing the screen actually because like right now it's like if you notice it's a low boy, but it's very very flat, and unless you're like over six foot, you can actually look down onto it. Um, but that's not what we want to do. That's why I got these, uh, bar stool chairs here. Uh, even that still is not good enough because the, uh, just the angle of the screen is not propped up properly, I would say. So I'm going to be fixing that over the next couple months. Um, but yeah, there, everything works. Two player console. Um, 2,222 games, as you can see there, it goes up to, uh, 223 pages. So and that's like nearly 10 games a page. So, definitely a whole range of games on here. It's good for me when I come back from work. Just to, while I'm cooking up lunch, just quickly hop into this and play a few games and stuff like that. Or before I'm about to head out or waiting for someone to come pick me up for a film. Or anything to do like that. Or heading out to the city. This is what I do. So, I jump off my computer. I pretty much jump on my arcade cabinet and just start playing random games that I've never seen before. Even though there's a lot of games that I've actually played um, quite a bit. And those who don't know about Pandora's Box, Pandora's Box, there's a lot of um, do-it-yourself arcade cabinet sales, uh, resellers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so definitely check it out. If you want like arcade cabinets like this and you're interested, I'd say it's just as easy as building a computer. If you've built multiple computers and worked in IT and stuff like that. Um, it's actually not so difficult. You just like there's, there's a lot of online tutorials on YouTube and also um, even if you talk to the people who actually um, are in the business in selling the DIYs, they can easily tell you um, what to look out for. The main concern is just electricity and hand the volts and stuff like that. Um, if you like, if you don't have like a little bit of background in electronics, then it might be confusing. But um. But yeah, I'm just going to click into a random game, whatever, show you that it works, Pandora's box, 9D, just using a shitty Dell uh, screen, it's alright, um, just a little sort of plastic, I might change all this, I might put LED, that was me when I was young, someone stuck it there, the coin op actually works, I just got to set it on the actual machine inside, on the actual um, the 9D box, so, coins work, press that, all good, this looks like it is um, actually Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I don't know what the title I hit before, but normally I don't think it'll sit on this side. It's supposed to enter your name, but no one really cares. Just do that, your presenter. Yep. Cool. This is actually a really great game. Um, definitely, I'm pretty sure there's been PlayStation games, PlayStation 1. Dungeons and Dragons, PlayStation 2, something like on the basis of like this. But yeah. But I'm not going to review these games here on the I'm just showing you like how it works and the arcade count is pretty good. And 
two players, two players join us. Let's see if that works. Try and see if it actually In insert coin. Or I don't know, something random. Anyways, hold down the player button there, resets it. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this one off because I'll be using my laptop soon. And I need the bloody cables to do it. So that's my arcade cabinet. That's there for spare time, mates are around. As you can see, I've got a, like a little barbecue area out there, barbecue chairs, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's like it's almost like having a party zone here. It's great, just in a small room and stuff like that. All right, so these are my awards, um, just from and some like memorabilia stuff um, from Respawn Land. So that's Respawn Land. What was that for? Counter Strike, you know, gun game. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's when I won the, um, so this would have been back, I would say about eight years ago, I think. Counter-Strike Gun Game, I won an NVIDIA Shield, one of the handheld devices. Uh, Respawn Lamb Smash Brothers as well, 3434. Uh, that, that year, that event was actually really good for me. I came first in Smash Brothers. I actually used Ness against Mario in the very last round in um, Smash Brothers Brawl, which was great. Duck Hunt Champ. I actually reached nearly up to 800,000 points in Duck Hunt. Um, and later on in the series, when my friends are over and stuff like that, I'll record some gameplay. And I'm actually going to try and max it out. I'm going to try and not miss one single duck at all and see how far I get. Um, and the other one is Smite 3v3. So that's that MOBA. Uh, Smite with all the gods and stuff like that and all the mythology stuff like that. So that was a 3v3. Um, me and my friends won. Me and my friends and the random won. Um, one of the events, just sort of picking the most overpowered heroes. Respawn Land 10, so this is actually very, very long time ago, probably when I was 18. That's when we won the Dota 5v5, um, due to, due to very, um, uh, controversial circumstances as the team was, uh, not abiding by the other rules. Um, the, the other team, sorry, in the very, in the finals, and, uh, they actually had to forfeit the first place, and then we got first place. Due to them cheating, which is great. Um, that was probably out of like eight teams and stuff at Respawn Land. So Respawn Land actually has like a ma like a max amount to like four hundred to five hundred people event uh, based in Melbourne. They used to be in Bandura, in Latrobe, Bandura, but now they're um, showcasing at Coburg, Batman Royal now. Um, so this was a total in time. I actually got it because. <laughs> For me, when I'm buying and trading, I was just I got this one cheap. I saw the sticker. I was like, as long as the chip is real, then I'll just change it into a, like a new cut and all that. So that's just sitting there just for now because I was doing the swapping and repairing. Um, my friend bought me uh, Roadhog because we did play Overwatch for quite a bit, and I was really really good as Roadhog. And um, because I got a fat belly button and fat myself, it's just he thought it was funny that he would just get me one of them just to be a smart ass. So. This is uh, recently from Christmas, um, the 200 Retro Arcade uh, video games. I'm not going to open this at all, um, but you do hook this up to like HDMI screens and stuff like that, and you play like all these either rip-offs or these uh, old uh, arcade school get old school games and stuff like that, which, okay, it's okay, but I'll just leave it up there for now. Um, the Starlink, a Battle for Atlas. Now, I actually, the price is 120 I actually got this for like 60 bucks. Um, the reason why, because there was an actual... Um, there was like a physical version of this that I thought I was going to buy because I was like, oh yeah, it's second hand. But they went out the back and got me a brand new one by accident and they sold me the brand new one. So I only took the game out. Um, I only took the game out because I wanted to play the game, but I left everything else inside. So, but yeah, that's um, Star Fox. Like Star Fox is one of my best characters, like one of my favorite characters in Nintendo. Um, a lot of people like, you know, uh, Link from Legend of Zelda and stuff like that. Oh, Fox and Falco and all of that. You can't beat them. Like, they're, they're my favorite. They're an awesome, awesome favorite group. And the R Wing, the R Wing is amazing. So, yeah. Um, just a PlayStation uh, memory card. That's actually for a uh, controller for um, Mega Drive. Anyways, um, so that's Respawn Land again. Uh, the version 26, Land Down Under. Uh, Dota 5v5 Championship, we came first in that one as well. And, um, yeah, like, these days, apparently, Dota's not more pop not popular at LAN events compared to League of Legends. Um, I'm trying to change that, because <laughs> I think League of Legends is full of shit. Um, I don't think it's good at all. 
um, just as many reasons because um, the riot doesn't balance their heroes, nor they bring in new items. They they start bringing new heroes, more even more heroes, just to try and counterbalance and hope that people forget about others. But yeah, like that's my personal opinion about League of Legends. I don't think it's good enough as a MOBA. Um, so these are actually really weird. We we didn't, we never got these at all in Australia. But I got this because I had a, I bought a bundle for Game Boy Advance. And this, you can actually watch episodes on your Game Boy Advance of Pokemon. This one is um, those two episodes. And I actually did not know that you could do that uh, with the Game Boy Advance. Sadly, you can't use these on the, the Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube, which I actually do have, which I'll show you later. But yeah. Um, favorite games all the time, Frozen Throne, um, Tiberium Wars, uh, the best expansion ever made for World of Warcraft, um, Wrath of the Lich King, will always be here, um, when I tell my kids in the future, and nephews and stuff like that in the future, just to show them what it was like, because like, uh, physical copies are cutting down quite a bit, World of Warcraft more in the back, alright, so these are all the Playstation games, Playstation 1 games, Army Man Air Attack, some bloody cheat thing that I never got to work. Um, sorry about that. Good sneeze. <laughs> God dang. Woo! Alright. Die Hard Trilogy. So we got Army Man. Um, Army Man 3D, that's right. I, used to, I remember I used to play this when I, when I was a kid. I actually didn't own a PlayStation. I went to my friend's house to play a PlayStation as we had N64. Bust a move, great game. I think that's number three. All right, Hidden and Dangerous. Never played it. I just got it. And um, yeah, Alone in the Dark and the New Nightmare. I think that's one of the uh, later versions of it. I think it's either that or it's not probably I'm early in the Dark. Who the hell knows? I bought these as bundles, so I actually do not know um, what games are in here. Actually, it's probably not Alone in the Dark. Ooh, the case is crap. What is this? Oh, it's actually C12 Final Resistance. It's it actually is a different game. Okay, so I gotta get that changed. <laughs> I I don't know what this game is actually. So I'm now I'm actually very keen to find out. And it's not Alone in Dark. I thought I had had Alone in Dark. Now I'm disappointed. Okay, unless this is actually a good game, and I won't be. So that's good. All right, here we go. All these loose leaves uh, as well. So. Like I said before, on the arcade cabinet, there's Crusader's Might Magic, stuff like that. These are like weird. Crusader's Might Magic is a very weird game. Um, get into that some other time. Silent Hill. All this, the Silent Hill games, I'm planning to play through every single one of them. So I've got Origins, number two. Three. And The Room, number four. Dead or Alive, uh, number two. Great game. Midnight. Club is actually a really good game as well. I love the Midnight Club series compared to the uh, Need for Speed series. Airblade, standard is a like, very common game. Then Ace Combat, some pro game I'll probably check out in the future sometime. Because um, I need to clock them, I need to clock every single one of them. Because I'll be starting a new series called Clocked. That's what it's going to be called on YouTube or and on D Live when we actually do live streams of it. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I tried ages to hunt down this game. And this is only one of the recent collections that I got. And um, it actually looks really good at the moment. A little bit of scratches. But um, I'm very happy that I actually finally have a copy of it. Because this is what I actually played at my friend's house. Um, when we were in high school. When we weren't doing any work whatsoever. No. Chef's Love Shack. Love that game. Love that game. I, I got the four player um, adapter for the PlayStation. So... Um, this becomes actually a really great game just to mess around and have a few drinks with your mates. Point Blank, my mate and I always challenge each other on Point, point Blank non-stop. Time Crisis Project Titan, haven't really played it that much, but I assume we'll. Uh, that's Fear Effect right here. Um, I don't have like a full on good copy of it, but it's okay. Need for Speed, the very first one. Now that one, I'm definitely going to play through because um, I'm going to go through the history of Need for Speed one day. And I'm actually going to talk about what, you know, the certain time and era of Need for Speed coming into like uh, Fast and Furious stuff like that and um, that type of gameplay. Um, Need for Speed 3 is there, I need number 2. Warriors of Might Magic, so the other one was Crusaders, I got Warriors of Might Magic, Point Blank 2, play that a lot. Now the Final Fantasy series, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to play through every single one of these, I, really, I know there's a 
they take a very, very long time to do. Um, but I'll try my best to actually get through as much as I can. But I'm not going to do one after another because I think that's going to bore everybody. So what I might actually do is when I do the live stream, um, I might play two games at the same time. I play Final Fantasy uh, on, one, on one TV and then on the other TV I might play another game at the same time. Um, Fighting Force, great game, love it. Uh, me and my friend love playing this game. Just a great, um, just beat em up. 3D beat em up. Very fun to play. Now this Doom, I don't have a full copy. This is like a rental copy. Um, but Doom on PlayStation is actually very good. Very decent. Um, and I'm planning to actually smash through that one day. The Red Alert. I love the Red Alert series. Command and Conquer. Um, that one here is Grand Theft Auto. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Um, I love the Grand Theft Auto series. I've never completed it, but I'm planning to. London, um, Soviet Strike, I love all the Strike games, so for those who don't know what the Strike games are, they are the helicopter games, the top-down, isometric, and you go around, there's pro and they, they are so difficult, the equivalent to Soviet Strike and Nuclear Strike in, in any of the Strike games is Mech Warrior. if those who remember Mech Warrior, I think it's like 3020 or some shit like that, which I do have as well, if you're into games like that, that where you don't want to get hit at all, and you, you got to really plan what you got to do, and take it. It'll take your time. Well, for most of the part, uh, Driver Two. Driver is supposed to be one of the best series ever made um, for dri driving games on PlayStation. There was like there was a lot of hype based around it. Destruction Derby Two, mindless fun, love it. Tekken, I think that is Tekken Two, if I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't have Tekken One yet. Now Resident Evil One. Oops, sorry, my friend's trying to call me. Resident Evil One and Two, Silent Hill, and Dino Crisis. Now these are the games. Um, I'm going to have my friend Amy to come play in Silent Hill, because I've actually played through half of it a long time ago. But we are planning to play through Silent Hill. She's never played PlayStation games that, but when she was younger. Um, I thought horror games would be great for her. And uh, I didn't want to do Resident Evil 1 and 2, because I know, I know how to beat both those games and um, Ghost Warrior and all that. I've never played Dino Crisis, so I'm going to do that after Silent, Silent Hill. But Amy's going to play that, and you'll meet her sometime soon. Fresh in the... Boxes Xbox controllers. I need it because uh, Xbox controllers for Xbox One Classic is uh, notorious for messing up quite a bit. Now these GameCube games, I got um. So we'll start from here. So Call of Duty Finest Hour. Then I got Smuggler's Run, which is a game me and my brother used to play. Now Red Card is one of the greatest soccer games ever made. Um, period. Red Card, especially for the GameCube, is one of the most ridiculous, silly. Um, our age is soccer games. You can fly kick, spear tackle. Um, you can play as a team of dolphins or a team of clowns or superheroes and shit like that. <laughs> it's, it's one of the weirdest, most, most fun soccer games. So if you like NBA Jam, this is like almost, I wouldn't say the equivalent, but it's along the same type of fun. Star Wars Adventures. Now, I'm actually looking for the other Star Fox games as well for GameCube, which I know they're going for quite expensive. Uh, uh, Bounty Hunter. I haven't played any uh, Bounty Hunter games yet from Star Wars. Uh, Clone Wars, never played it, but I'm soon to will. Hot Pursuit, one of the greatest games ever made for um, GameCube at that time. Uh, the graphics were pretty great, and uh, the tracks were phenomenal. Uh, Flavor, uh, Fever for the Flavor, I think was the, um, or Flavor for the Fever, uh, something like that, was one of the hit songs of that year when this game came out, especially for Need for Speed. Um, now this was hilarious because I only bought this for 60 bucks, um, which has the Master Quest for Legend of Zelda, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker and everything like that, and the condition of it is amazing. So as you can see there, Ocarina of Time, then Wind Waker, ooh, very nice, but that. So even though I've got Legend of Zelda on N64, which I'll show you soon. This will be the version I'll be playing. Um, <clears throat> as it's different... <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, as I sort of try something different, play it on the GameCube, clock it. I've, I've clocked it so many times on um, N64. Even though I'll have to do that as well, <laughs> since i got the games now. Eternal Darkness, great game. I'm going to play that with my mate Julian. He's never played Eternal Darkness, and I think he will get freaked out. For those who don't know what this is, it's like a very psychological game. Um, it's meant to, f it's meant to fuck with you. It's meant to, it, the whole game is just meant to fuck with you. Like, the TV will turn off randomly, as you think, or the sound goes down, or you, <laughs> you think the game's bugged because you're dying for no reason and shit, but yeah. Fight Night Round 2. Now, this version is amazing, because it actually has Punch-Out from Super Nintendo on there. 
And this Fight Night Round 2 is one of the greatest games I've ever played for boxing. So much fun. I can easily clock. I can easily go through every single um, weight division and clock it in probably a day. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the GameCube. Ooh, ooh la la. That's one game I, I need to finish. I've never beaten it, um, but so I'm, gonna, I'm planning to do it. Metro Prime 2. Um, I need to get number one in order before I start playing that. Time Splitters 2. This is an amazing game. One of the most fun games you can ever play for multiplayer. As you can see, it was rated 9.5 out of 10. I'd definitely say it's 9.5 out of 10. Um, um, sorry, sorry, that's my friend's blame. That's Julian messaging me. Um, but here we go. Um, now the James Bond games, Nightfire, one of the... Like, this, this was a lot of fun for GameCube. This actually... When you play multiplayer, is I'll say you just have a much, as much fun as you do on GoldenEye. Even though GoldenEye is like the greatest game. Um, to play for any James Bond series. Man of Honor, Rising Sun, fun game. Now, these two games, uh, uh, they're very obscure. Lost Kingdoms. So, these are single-player JRPG games. Um, for those who love card captors, this is sort of like the same type of idea. But you go around as a princess of the kingdom that's being taken over um, by a mystical force. And you capture monsters with cards... And then you upgrade the monsters and everything like that, and you go through, and you, so it's sort of like a battle arena, but RPG at the same time. Summon monsters, summon spells, and stuff like that, and you go around doing it like that. Number two, even greater game. I love it. These they're amazing games. We're, we're definitely going to be playing that. Burnout, fun game when it first came out. It was very new, innovative, and um, especially the slow-mo features, and just watching the cars getting fucked up was great. Um... Medal of Honor Frontline, oh, one of the most popular games to come out from Medal of Honor. It was on everywhere, PlayStation 2 and everything like that, and GameCube and whatnot. X8, probably the best WrestleMania, uh, the best wrestling game to ever come out because of what you can actually do. Like, apart from GM mode, GM mode, which I got, you know, for PlayStation, so the reason why I pick it, picked up any of the SmackDown vs. Raw. But, I don't think I even have the disc in here. Bum, bum. Don't have the bloody disc. So I'm going to have to find another fucking X8. Um, because I know when I moved, it was somewhere now. I don't know where the fuck it is. So, anyways, PlayStation games so generic. I'm not a big fan of PlayStation 2. There's only a few games that I don't mind. Um, random ass games, seeing it. To I to I'm not sure if I'll ever play it. I probably will one day. Metal of Honor. Metal of Honor, Metal of Honor. Max Payne. Now, my friend always told me to play Max Payne. I've never played it before. Um, I will one day. Uh, True Crime. Now, these games are supposed to be really amazing. Um, if you like Grand Theft Auto, True Crime is like a... You can either play as a good guy or a bad guy. Well, it, it your actions determine how you are as a cop, or whether you're a dirty cop or a good cop and stuff like that. So, yeah. Dynasty Warriors, one of the greatest um, actions to have made, especially number five. Um, number five and number three, I'm pretty sure, was like the greatest ones to ever be made. Um... So hard, just like, you know, mindless, being the shit out of, like, just a whole bunch of enemies at the same time, just assault castles and stuff like that. But number three and number five were the best, like, when you go one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one against Lu Buu on the hardest difficulty when you first time you meet him and stuff like that, you're there for, like, hours trying to fucking kill him. Tekken 5, great fighting game, love it, I'm gonna have to clock it one day. Prince of Persia, um, I'll be, I actually got the Prince of Persia on Super Nintendo, the original, um, so I'll be... Before I even play this one, I'm going to start... I'll make a series of playing all the Prince of Persia games. Um, one after another. In, in starting from this Nintendo one. Um, San Andreas, Gran Turismo, Red Faction. Red Faction was innovative because of the explosive environments. Um, and it... See here, it says here. Yeah. Red Faction will blow you away. The best PS2 game yet. And I'm sitting there going... It, at the time, yes, it was. Yes, it was. You know, if you like Doom, Quake, everything like that, with destructible uh, objects and stuff like that, Red Faction was amazing. Final Fantasy X, I've never played it. Um, don't know what it's like compared to the others. Sniper 2, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what that's like. Uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell, definitely, I love Tom Clancy games. Um, I'm definitely going to go through all the Splinter Cell games. I've never played it. So that's what I missed out on because I had an uh, N64 only. Um, during this time, and then GameCube. So we followed the Nintendo path. Um, Lord of the Rings. 
Can't get can't go wrong with Lord of the Rings games. Um, definitely want to play through that. Now here's what I'm talking about. So SmackDown, SmackDown was Raw, um, 2008, and all that. So we're gonna be using these games to play GM mode, me and my friend. And um, what we're pretty much gonna try and do is see. I'm not sure if this one has GM mode. I think 2009 has GM mode. 2008 has GM mode, I think. I just don't have 2006 as well. I can't remember exactly which ones have GM mode or not. I know 2007 does. 2008 definitely does, I think. Uh, 2009? I don't think so. Um, they need to bring back GM mode for the latest games, or else what's the point of playing? You know, like, it's, it's popularized by up, up, down, down. But even still, GM mode is a lot more fun compared to just, you know playing like you know you know you can have random matches and stuff like that but i think gm mode for the longevity of the gameplay and you can always play over and over again i think that's great roger clank uh kill zone stuff like that and now in this box i'm pretty sure it is twisted metal black yeah now it's crystal metal series is a great series i do prefer uh vigilante 8 which i do have um but uh twisted metal is, is another series i'm gonna have to play through 10,000 Bullets, supposed to be a really amazing game. Rainbow Six Three, Soul Calibur, Tom Clancy's, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, uh, that Bully, Bully game. So I'm going to play through that. Uh, Getaway, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Outlaw Volleyball, <laughs> this is one of We're definitely, I'm going to play this with Amy and see what the fuck she thinks. And, um, you know, I think she's going to be fucking saying what the fuck the entire time. I thought we were playing volleyball, but now we're being the shit out of each other. Uh, Total Overdose, I've never played this. Oh, actually, yes, I've played a little bit of this. Um, it's supposed to be really good. Time Crisis 2. Great game. Join Kill Clock without getting one hit at all. Um, Devil May Cry 2. I've never played any of the Devil May Cries. Ooh, Code Veronica X. I'm happy that I actually have this, because I definitely want to clock it. And the, only, the only one I don't have is Survivor, the really shitty one, but yeah. All right. Now we're going into the deep darkness of my Xbox games. Now, some of these are actually, like, copies and shit like that, because back then, um, too expensive, and pretty much, like, my Xbox was chipped, but now I actually got an Xbox that's, uh, not chipped, and I'm trying to actually replace all the games that have been copied with the actual real ones, um, so these are the real ones, Unreal Champions, the championship, Third Age, I love this game, this one, so, those who like Final Fantasy, Got to play Lord of the Rings. And if you like Lord of the Rings as well, you got to play the, uh, the Dark Age. Um, Grand Theft Auto. That was a double pack. Great game. Fable. Got Fable on there. What is there? Uh, Fahrenheit. It's supposed to be a good game. These are copies. Um, Soldier of Fortune. Minavella. Uh, Tony Hawk. Yeah, Underground. I remember that. Uh, Brute Force. Great game. To uh, Ghost Recon. Great game. Now, oh yeah. Flat out. You can play this forever. You can play this for game forever. It's so much fun with all your friends. Um, especially the hot seat, doing dumb shit with each other. V8 Supercars, my brother played that a lot. I didn't really play it. Halo, now I play this a lot. Obviously, is my like, disc is still in here? It is. All right, great. So I'll be going through that again. Even though Halo just got released on PC, I'm sort of I'm going to go back to playing it on Xbox. Um, just to go back through the nostalgia part of it. Now, AFL Live, uh, NBA... A lot of shit copied games. I'm just not gonna go through. Uh, Fight Night Round Two, great game. This one's copied, but I, as you saw, I got GameCube. I got Fight Night Round Two, a better version of it. Uh, Midnight Club Three, great game. Uh, Xbox 360 games. I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect the Xbox 360. Got Catwoman. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Kingdom of Fire Heroes, it's supposed to be a decent game. Uh, that my friend play, played a long time ago. Conspiracy Weapons. NHL, I actually love hockey games. I think hockey games is uh, very entertaining. Especially when you get into fights. Manhunt, I need to find a real version of Manhunt. Um, it was hard to get it. Banned for a reason. I'll probably make a series about number one and two and talk about it. And also games that were inspired by it a little bit. Like um, Hatred and stuff like that. So I'll we'll be talking about this games like that in the future. Um, need for Speed Underground. I'm not sure if I got the disc. I do have the disc. Good. We're definitely going to be playing it because that's an original copy. Halo 2's there. That's great. Underground 2. A copy. I don't, I don't like Underground 2 that much. Uh, Odd Worlds. Definitely. Dead or Alive 3. Hell yeah. Some bloody snowball game. Don't like it. Crimson Skies. And then... <laughs> um, yeah. 
Kingdom of Fire, the Crusader. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, that's only those parts of the games. Now I've got this. So all my controllers, I've got the multi-tap, the stations. Um, multi-tap, a few guns. See the guns in there. And stuff like that. The remote control for fucking something. Um, Sega controller. I need to get a, I need to get another Sega Mega Drive. PlayStation controllers, the Xbox bloody control, uh, the remote. Yeah, so that's pretty much all these things. These ones, these controls don't work anymore. That's why I'm replacing them. NES, Super Nintendo. Now my guns. I'm going for NES, PlayStation. Got two of them. And uh, these are actually brand new. These parts here, the controls are original. These ones I've actually fixed up. I've fixed them up, and actually I can easily fix controllers. Easily fix controllers, except for the Xbox ones. The Xbox ones are notorious for just breaking for, for no reason. So, that's all that. My NES, I need a top loader. I, whoops. Um, so, alright, there's uh, Double Dragon 2 in there. Um, the game. Uh, that's the one I've been trying to clock recently by myself. As in my secret Mega drive, this one's a piece of shit. I'm gonna have to get a new one on that. Um, CRT, you have to play the new one. I'm gonna play those two systems. It's gonna be on CRT. That PlayStation 2 is just for the GM mode. For so that slim in the back is for GM mode. For uh, when we have two screens at once. Uh, my big ass monitor. Now this strap some light to the back. As you can see, just try to make it look pretty when you sit back for streaming. Gives us an outline. Um, so yeah, got everything hooked up. I got a switcher. With everything else hooked up with USB ports and everything like that. So yeah, that's going all the way to the back. GameCube. Bought this when it first came out. So we were, this is one of the first models, obviously. Model, as what I say by model, is that... So when you pre-order them, um, black didn't come out as common as it is well, now. Um, the most common was purple. And to get the black one, um, we had to get like bonus games and stuff like that. Use the new ATI chips and stuff. This is the Game Boy Player. Press the button on the side, bring it out. See Game Boy games, so all that. And you can play it here, but in order to use this, sorry. In order to use it, you need a disc to boot up the UI, or else it does not work. And I'm pretty sure you cannot make it. Um, but we'll see. Jeez, everyone's calling me once I start making videos. Um, but yeah, Super Nintendo. Great system. I did not pay $250 for this. I actually paid a lot less for this. N64, I might have to change it a bit. Uh, get a new one because the power keeps cutting out here and there. Sorry, it's, I might have to open up and clean it. If not, um, it could be broken. PlayStation 1. Love it. Um, it's a really good version of it. It doesn't fuck up or anything like that. PlayStation 2. Uh, and my Xbox. Xbox baby. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the games. So i got a lot of games. Um, well, not a lot compared to most people. But for me, I consider myself having a bit of games. Okay. Okay, you got Hang Time, Battle Tanks, Trilogy, There's Mortal Kombat, Pokemon Stadium 1, Goldeneye, gotta have it, and Castlevania. That's one game I'm definitely gonna be playing through. Not a lot of people like it, I know how to beat it. Um, it's actually, people get stuck on the stage where they have to drop the bombs, but I can show people how to do that real easy. Mortal Kombat 4, love that. I love just putting the cheats in and doing the um, ulties, um, the finishes. Uh, like, just like the uppercuts only. <laughs> Star Wars Racer, Legend of Zelda. I've never played Majora's Mask. I actually technically didn't like it, but I'm gonna try and get it for a while. Turok. Um, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, yeah, Lilac Wars. Great game. I can easily clock that easy on the hardest. Uh, Command of Conquer. Great game. Chopper Attack. Great, stupid little game. Um, Rogue Squadron, one of the greatest games as well on the N64 I ever put there. Mission Impossible, hard game. Smash Brothers, everyone's gotta have Smash Brothers. Alright, Cruising the World, okay. Um, Mario Kart, definitely good to have friends and start fights. Uh, NBA Live, Aero Gauge is one of those games that's super difficult to beat. Um, so Shadows of the Empire, supposed to be one of the greatest games for Star Wars made on, um, as a shooter action. WWE Add to World's Not Enough. We're definitely going to play through them. Snowball Kids 1, it's only number one, not number two. I used to have number two, but a brother bloody sold it. 
complete in box and everything. Now that game's like worth nearly three thousand bucks or something like that, and we bloody sold it a long time ago uh, for like dirt cheap to just to get that fucking thing. So, uh, no mercy, penny races, perfect dark. Definitely gotta go for that. Forsaken, uh, Killer Instinct Gold, Vigilante Eight. Love that game. I can play that game forever. And this is uh, WCW NWO Revenge. I do have games in a safe because they're expensive games and rare games, which I'll show you later. But I'll go through this one real quick too. All right. Spider Man, the next man, Black Hawk. Definitely going through that game. Chrono Trigger. Definitely gonna. Those are the games gonna take a while. Virtual Soccer, great game. Uh, Urban Strike, Air Lanat, Street Fighter, Yoshi's Island, Dread. Love Dread. Mr. Quest. Love Mr. Quest. I'm trying to speed through along here because this is a definitely a long video. Uh, now this one is a weird one. We're definitely gonna fucking play through that one day. Uh, Demolition Man. Yeah. Fire. Oh, Rival Turf Man. <laughs> you can beat that. Greatest game. I used to. This is the most rented game I've ever rented back in the day, and I now got my hands on one of them. Which is rock and roll racing. Had to get it all the way from like Italy or something. Total Carnage. If those are who don't know Total Carnage, you are missing out. If you love, uh, if you love Smash TV, Total Carnage is also the same type of characters and same bosses and stuff like that, but just um, in a scrolling uh, shooter, rail shooter. Killer Instinct, Black Cartridge, obviously. Uh, F Zero, Mortal Kombat. Combat 2, yeah, this will be number 3, I'm hoping. Number 3. <laughs> uh, all Stars, common. Uh, yeah, Jungle Strike. We're definitely going to go through all the strike games. International Cricket, great game. Even if you don't like cricket, it's a very fun game. Robocop Cup 3. Battle Toads, very hard version as well. Uh, 3050, that's what I was talking about. If you like, um, if you like that game, then you'll like all the strike games. Syndicate, hard game. Gonna have to go through that with two players at least. Um, only one golf. Let's just golf. Sim City. We'll go through that with some, um, you know, on downtime when I start talking about other things. Uh, amazing tennis. I'm sure it is. And Shell. Love hockey. Love hockey games. Ray. Uh, Primal Rage. Definitely weird thing. Earthworm Jim. Love it. Zombies. Ain't my neighbors. Technically, is the full title. Great game. Hard game to actually beat. Takes two plays no matter what. Um, if you try to do it by yourself, you are you are. Making it worse for yourself. Metroid, my mate can beat that in a couple of hours. I haven't yet to do it. I can clock it, but not that quick. NBA Jam, one of the greatest, uh, the greatest basketball game ever made. Prince of Persia, hard. You got a trial and error. Link to the Past, I've actually technically never played it, uh, but I will soon. Uh, Super Mario World, never played it. Funny as it sounds. Darius Twins, one of the hardest games ever made for the NES. And there's Darius Twins, and this is for the Super Nintendo, just as equally as hard. Smash TV, one of my favorites. I used to borrow this quite a lot. Go through that. It's actually a hard game, whether it's one player or two player. Uh, Star Wars, definitely going to go through that. And Star Wars is one of the hardest, most brutal fucking games ever made. Alright. It's my Super Nintendo collection. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Huh. Shadow of the Beast. I didn't make a drive. I need to actually get my Mega Drive fixed. As you know, some of these are actually bloody... It says Mega Drive, but look, it is a bloody NTSC cartridge. So that's fun. It's for the Genesis, not for the bloody Mega Drive. Power Rangers, the Menacer, which is the gun, Columns, great puzzle game, Street Fighter, Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, what is this game? The oh, Quackshot. Oh, okay, some Disney game. Disney game, Spider-Man, uh, Lion, uh, Stormlord... Aladdin, so Disney games, so I'll be finding some very exclusive games for the Mega Drive, um, and that's going to be a, one of the, because that's probably one of the last systems, that and the Master System, that I'm going to start collecting for, shit ton of game, game Boy Advance games, I'm not going to go through all of them right now, um, like Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon, there are some random ass games and stuff like that, so yeah, um, NES games, so this is actually American version, so that's what that's why I need the top loader. Top loader can play all versions. Top Dragon One, and you got Top Dragon Three, Arcade, Top Dragon Two. Whoop. That's the thing. Excite Bike, Kung Fu. Those are the Kung Fu. Duck Hunt, love it. Aussie Rules Footy, great game. That's actually great, really great game. Operation Wolf, rad, totally rad. 
Some of these are actually American NTSC. Um, that is Legend of Zelda number two. Uh, yeah, the Adventures of Link. Um, definitely gonna clock that. I've never clocked it before. The original Black Box Super Mario Smash TV on NES, which is I'm gonna be playing Super Nintendo first before I go to the NES version because it's a lot harder. Um, Top Gun. All right, and then you got uh, where the hell this game is? Uh, the Legend of the Lost City Digger. So. That, but look, even more games. Bloody hell! All right, <clears throat> trying to speed through it as much as I can because I gotta make phone calls soon. <laughs> All right, so I got tennis, the adventures uh, in a Magic Kingdom, Pac Man, WrestleMania Challenge, Star Wars. Whoa, hard, terrible. Um, what else is there? What's that? That is Dr. Mario, Super Mario Brothers, and that is some other crappy ass game. Um, <laughs> I think it's up. What is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll go to playing that game one time. Solstice, love this game. Remember, my brother used to own one. And now we do again. Snake Rider and Roll, definitely a great game. And Road Fighter, awesome. As you can see, I'm still trying to collect as many NES games. Um, I'm not sure how long they're going to be sitting in the drawers like this for. Because, in the back wall over there, it's going to be your art and a big shelf to put all the NES games, all these big, big bulky games on there. Um, that's where it's going to go. And... Whoop! Oh, wait, did I have two Avengers of Link? Nope. Tripping. I'm tripping. Alright, we're nearly bloody there. Alright. New headset for streaming. I'm going to have to do this real quick. Marley's, if you don't know what Marley's are... Molly's are some of the greatest, uh, I won't say the greatest, but this is like $200. Bluetooth headset made of wood. Um, well, recycled components and stuff of like that. The audio quality is amazing. Um, I walked outside my house and down the street and it was still, the Bluetooth was uh, still in range to my laptop, my new gaming laptop, which is a great transition segue to my Asus RUF, or TUF gaming laptop. Ryzen 5 CPU with a 10... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, 10, uh, 1050, what do you call it? GTX 1050, that's it. The GTX 1050, uh, Bluetooth, um, you know, you, if you got like a DTS headphone design type, uh, headset, 7.1, it supports it, which is great. And then there's display, as you can tell, the display is very, very, very thin. Very thin. I love it. I love the look of it. It actually, it's not too jarring on the eyes. Um, you, you, you don't want to put your finger, fingers near it uh, to get it dirty. I uh, didn't, you know, red, 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 green, blue keyboard, all that type of jazz. Does it any fancy stuff? Um, but yeah, no. So it's actually this is actually my. I'll be using this laptop headset and all that for streaming. As you can see, um, I'll be recording myself on here. I've got a webcam, and I now I need to just. Learn to hook it all up. Hook it all up together. So that's going to be great. And my final thing before this video. Yep, yeah, damn, we're nearly gone for an hour. Unbelievable. Alright. As you see here, boom. So, i still got multiple PlayStations uh, sitting there. Because they're so common. The boxes of some of the games uh, are sitting there. Which I might be just selling it as the boxes itself. The PlayStation and stuff like that. But, this is what is most important you might be hearing me pressing digits all right so this is what i talked about before that's the disc for the game boy player which i have in a safe Ooh, la, 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 la. expensive expensive 600 dollar fucking game this one this one is definitely in mint condition um, especially inside, I try not to play it as much as I can, um, if I find another shitty copy, I'll play it, um, if not, I'll just play this rarely, Starcraft 64, the Australian version, the Australian version, this is so fucking hard to get, this is also a 600, $600 game, I got it for cheap, I got it for 250 $600 game, got it for 250 I bargained it all the way down, because people were not buying them, Castlevania 4, one of the greatest games ever made on Super Nintendo. I'll put it in here because I, one day that's going to be not just rare, but um, 
I just don't want anyone touching it. <laughs> Turtles in Time, as you as you saw before, this is like a repo. It's it's a repo. Uh, case the case is repo, and the sticker is not a sticker. It's like a pe paper thing. Inside is the actual chip for Turtles in Time. So the real chip is in there. So as you saw before, with that really crappy, um, crappy Turtles in Time that was over there. That's where the chip went into, into a brand new case, because that one's fucked. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so that's my gaming room. Um, so far, it looks so good. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, as well as on YouTube and stuff like that. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put some links down below as well. Um, and yeah, and hopefully you guys can follow us on, a, on this adventure, this journey. Um... It won't be just me, it'll be some of my friends as well, coming along, tagging along, playing these games, actually know more about it compared to me. And yeah, hopefully you guys can come and chill and watch some of the streams, and uh, we'll have some fun. Alright, talk to you guys soon.